All right, in this one, we're going to solve rational exponents. Same steps we've been doing all week. We're going to isolate something. Okay, in this case, we're in step two. We're going to uh, raise each side of the equation to the reciprocal exponent uh, to get them to cancel out. And, of course, we're going to solve for x. <laughs> all right, so um, let's go ahead and uh, get started with this. All right, so example one. Um, all right, so what I want to isolate right now is uh, the x to the 3 fourths, which is already isolated. So now all I got to do is take its reciprocal power, okay? So we flip the fraction and then take it to another power. So we raise it to the 4 thirds power. So we got to raise the right side also to the 4 thirds power, okay? So when we do all that, <coughs> these things are going to end up canceling out. 4s will cancel out, 3s will cancel out, and then that will leave us with just an x. Then in our calculators, we can use uh, 125 to the 4 thirds power, and that's going to give us 625. Okay. Uh, example two, okay, um, here is our power, so to speak, we're trying to isolate. We want to get rid of that three, so we can divide both sides by a three. All right, so now we have x to the two-thirds power equals um, 16. All right, so now we're going to raise it to the reciprocal power, both sides, so now it's going to be a three over two, three over two on that side. Okay. Um, so, uh, threes cancel, twos cancel, that leaves us with x. 16 to the 3 halves power is going to be a 64, but we got to be careful because this is going to be a plus or minus 64. Okay, reason being is we got to watch out for that 2 on the bottom, that's our index. So, if we were to convert this, this would be a 16, we'll go to 12. Okay, so root 2, 16 uh, to the third power. Okay, and then right here, those two, that's our index, and we need to watch for them being even, okay? We have even powers, we got to put plus or minus. But nonetheless, this is our answer. Okay, and I'll jump to example four. Okay, and I'm going to do this one because we got to do a lot of cleaning here. Also has a parentheses. So we need to isolate all of this here. All right, so that needs to be by itself. Um, remember, the inside of the parentheses belongs to that power. Parentheses shows ownership. So subtract three, both of those, it's gone. So we get two x plus two to the one third power, and we get equal to four. Okay, now I want to divide out the two. So x plus two to the one third power, that equals two. Um, I'm now going to take the reciprocal power, 3 over 1, which is basically just 3. We're going to basically cube it, 3 over 1. All right, so same, same principle. Those are going to cancel. And we're going to get x plus 2 equals um, 8. Okay, so we're not done yet, minus the 2 now. And we're going to get x equal to 6.